hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you this type of effects making so let's see the before image was like that this one if i open it up the before image was like that after adding the preset you are getting this type of effects and after adding another filter from the nick collection you are getting this type of final effects this one creative and uh, moody type and trendy effects so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification here is my stock image actually this image provided by the johnny brother and thanks to johnny brother for this photo he just got this image in a canon eos 6d and the model achol hussain and i'm just editing that image for the tutorial purpose and big thanks to him and his team and now this one is rc2 that means raw image that's why it opens up in a camera filter and open image press this one you're getting the image over here press ctrl or command j for the new copy of this layer why you are copying this one just because of you are getting another layer to edit and another one is the backup purpose so after that go to the filter camera filter this one is a live easier plugins for the photoshop and the creative peoples and if you want to get these creative plugins in your photoshop version so please check out my video description and if you are the user of the creative cloud version you're getting this one by default in your photoshop luckily and you will find a small menu over here go to the load settings options and i'll provide you a preset which is the xmp file i made it for you guys this one untitled i just forgot to give the name these things and load it up you are getting the amazing effect you have the assumption to edit and control all the panels what i have done here let's see i used the temperature minus 11 for the cool effects if you need you can add some exposure or contrast over here and tint that is zero percent exposure 0 0.05 contrast plus 25 highlight minus 24 shadow plus 30 just because of i want to enlighten all the area of the photo and whites minus 69 blacks minus 5 texture minus 30 the clarity plus 10 so texture i made it minus 30 just because of the soft look of the face and the clarity i made it 10 because of all photo or all the like scenario will be exposed like that the dehaze option i didn't touch that if you need you can adjust in your photographs one thing is that uh, this photo and your photo couldn't be same and you can adjust the details of the things otherwise you won't get the perfect like color and other stuffs so here the vibrance minus 19 for the moody look and the emotional look actually the saturation plus 17 that's why the color popped up and the tone curve i used a point two points over here locked it up and i used over that so the value let's see the value of the point the 46 input value output value 35 and in this point you are getting the value input value 113 and the output value 100 red here the input value that is 143 and the output value 141 and then the green one if i just select this point let's see the input value 154 output value 150 and the blue i didn't touch that blue color if you need you can touch it out or you can edit that and here the detailing option in this panel you are getting the sharpening and noise reduction in the sharpening portion you are getting here 33 for the amount of sharpening and all the things are radius one detail 25 masking i didn't touch that the noise reduction panel you are getting the luminance value 43 luminance detail 50 luminance contrast 7 color 9 and the color detail 50 color smoothness 50 here the hsl panel hue saturation luminance hue i made the hue of the red plus 42 just because of orange type color if you increase their things you will get more orange in this panel the orange value or hue of the value plus 28 i made it a little bit yellow type just because of the warmness here the green value i made it minus 3 and the aqua plus 100 blue i just made it 19 here if you go to the left side you will get the 
aqua color but i just made it the plus 19 little bit blue that is the navy blue purple color zero and the magenta zero saturation i made the saturation red up that is 15 yellow plus 3 green 30 and the aqua 29 and luminance 27 i made it little bit uh, like enlightened so hue is a color belt which color you pick up from your photo or which one you want to give your photo the color you want to pick up the saturation the percentage of color how percentage will be the color and the luminance this one is the intensity of the color how dim or how intense of the color so yellow color i made the plus value orange color plus 54 red color 27 just because of here is the most color is red and green and here the purple color i made it plus 22 and magenta plus 22 as well split toning most important part of the photography or editing that means highlight color and shadow color defines with a split toning that means you are splitting the color in a shadow and highlight and another thing is the mid-tone so we used here the mid-tone that is the vibrance plus 19 and here we are just working with the highlight and the shadow color highlight hue value that is the 58 so i said earlier hue is the what color is it and the saturation percentage of the color and the same things the shadow hue that is 74 that is the which color you pick it up and the saturation if you need it, you add some saturation from here the percentage of the color no lens correction issues and vignetting here the effects grain and close crop vignetting so if you want to add some grain you can use that panel or that portion size radius and amount and the post crop vignetting i used here the amount of vignetting minus 13 the midpoint 52 and feather 50 and another thing that is the camera calibration or calibration whatever you can tell you are getting over here the three primary colors red primary green primary and blue primary red primary hue and again you are getting the hue and saturation hue which color it will be that means if you increase or if you just slide these things you will get the color variation that means you are picking up which color in this panel so minus six for the value the saturation minus 19 and the green primary plus 94 and the saturation zero and blue primary minus 2 and saturation minus 58 and hit the ok button i'll provide you that preset download link in my video description so check it out and use that things free of cost feel free to share the video and comment over there and i got the result main result and then i will use another filter for the filter and nick collection here the color effects pro for nick collection if you want to get the download link of the nick collection please check out my video description here it's taking time to load it up i'm using here the cross processing this portion and all the things are variation over here if you need you can use one of them in this case i'll use this one and hit ok it will take time to load it up and provide you the output panel yeah it's taking time it's almost done yeah nice now i think in this image you are getting the overexposed things so that's why i'll go to the adjustment and go to the brightness and contrast i'll reduce the brightness a little bit and add some contrast a little bit so it's neutral now previous one was like that traditional photo beautiful but raw image we need to edit that that's why i just edited that photo like this you're getting the creative colors and everything which is uh, totally expressing the models expression and other stuffs and color all the things hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and uh, if you want to get the all resource things like uh, the plugins and the presets please check out my video description until the next video i am signing out today bye bye